Hey guys, I just wanted to do a quick video tonight. All about the trumpet. Not everything about the trumpet, but all about the trumpet. There we go. I just want to see if I can get on. There we go. Oh, that picture. Gosh, that's awful. That's all right. Nobody's on yet anyway. So I want to talk all about the trumpet today and why trumpet's the best instrument. Because, you know, trumpet, trumpet's been around. Actually, let me do a search. How long is the trumpet? When was the trumpet invented? When was the trumpet invented? I don't even know. 1500 BC. Now that's not the real trumpet, right? The first known metal trumpets can be traced around 1500 BC. Silver and bronze trumpets were in the grave of King Tut. That's pretty cool. So for those old instruments, you're just talking about, you know, obviously it's not as elaborate as one of these, as a real trumpet. Real trumpet. But it's cool that the idea of blowing through something to get a sound, 1500 BC, BC's before Christ. That's a long time ago. So this isn't a new concept. So the trumpet's been around for a long time. And even that basic, that basic form of a trumpet, you know, you're still getting you, know, you didn't have anything quite as sophisticated as a, a mouthpiece to go on it. But, you know, so trumpet's been around for a long time. Now the modern trumpet, or the valve trumpet, when was the modern trumpet invented? 1832, they came out with a rotary valve trumpet. So, think like a French horn. They have those little buttons on the side and it turns a valve inside, which makes the air go through tubing. So the rotary trumpet's been around for a long time. 1939, improved the tubular valve and invented the piston valve trumpet. Pistons. So the rotary according to encyclopedia.com, came first, and then they made a piston trumpet later. And the trumpet's a pretty simple piece of equipment if you think about it. I mean, you got this long piece of tubing that just curls around, and I imagine at one point it didn't even curl around. You could, you'd, all you need is just a straight tube. We curl it around to make it more compact, which is great, you know, because it, you know, travel size cases are way better than trying to haul this thing around if it were super long. I think it's like six feet of tubing otherwise. So anyway, maybe not six feet. Maybe. I don't know. And then putting these valves on. So without valves, the air goes through this to here. These tubes are obsolete without valves. And that just comes out the back end. <laughs> And you basically have a bugle, right? Which you can do a lot without valves. I mean, even, you know, that old form where you don't have any pistons or rotary valves, you can still do a lot on a horn. If you're calling in an army or something like that, you're trying to make a loud sound to signal somebody. You know, so it's a, an extremely versatile instrument. And that's probably why you see trumpet in every genre of music. Not every genre. I've never heard of rap trumpet. There's no such thing as rap trumpet. I don't think. That'd be really weird. But, obviously, classical music. <laughs>
that's an obvious one. Classical music's been around for a very, very long time. And I imagine the trumpet, the modern trumpet, you know, with valves on it, you know, what's the big perk of having valves on a trumpet? Is you can play all 12 chromatic notes, right? Which a lot of songs are based on. Well, every song is based on the 12 tone series of music. Not all the music is based on, you know, a chromatic pattern throughout the whole song, except for. shows the versatility of a trumpet you know and if you think about the uh, very simple form of a trumpet a bugle you know you see a lot of bugle and horn calls in the military music military uses a form of the trumpet for just its basic uh, what would you call those I mean bugle calls right so I'm not sure I'm not a I'm not an expert on military bugle calls but that for? I imagine it's like the wake-up call or maybe that's the call to eat. I don't even know. But there's all kinds of those. You can look them up. And the great thing, again, if you think about a bugle, you're not using any, you're not changing any valves. And so some of you guys who are beginners out there, if you want to learn some of your bugle calls, it doesn't matter which valve you push down if you're learning it. Open is kind of the, the best, not the best way, but um, yeah, opens the best. But if you're practicing, and that's too high for you, let's say, you, know, you can go lower. Or, or, one, which is one, two, and three, again, just talking about the valve trumpet, the more valves you push down, the lower it gets. So again, learning bugle calls is easy. The more valves you use, the lower the, the range of the harmonic series is. So, so far we have classical music, military music. Of course the trumpet's been used in jazz forever. classical tune. Let's see if I have a fast one that I kind of know. Or I wouldn't have to just read it. That's kind of a 
slow piece too. Well, it gets a little faster, I guess. versatility of a trumpet. A trumpet's tremendous. You can play nice low notes. Which is especially nice on this humongous trumpet I have. I'm playing on a, if you can see that, no, you can't see that. Well, maybe a little bit. It's a Benj, a 1972 custom-built E-Benj from Los Angeles, California. It's just about the most beautiful trumpet I've ever played on, and the thing's just ginormous. It's a large bore. It's a... what is this thing? I can't remember. Large bore. It doesn't say. But it's a big, big trumpet. And the cool thing about trumpet, obviously it's a high brass instrument, you can play fairly high on it. Music-wise, you'll see it anywhere and everywhere because a trumpet can do anything. You know, it's incredibly versatile, like I keep saying. You'll see it, uh, you know, if you go to a horse race, what's that song they play? hates ducks. Yay, double tonguing. Well, that's the cool thing about the trumpet. It's so versatile because you can do all these things on it. So, tonguing. I didn't know. I got a little dent in here. And I keep, my phone keeps blowing up. People keep texting me. Bo, hello. If you're doing trumpet lessons. Yeah, I am. I should get back to her. Anyway, where was I? It's double tongue time. You bet. Double tongue forever. Oh, what's going on? Why did it stop at this awful spot? Oh, I see. My computer's kind of going goofy on me. Yay. Double tonguing. So. Some of you girls out there. No, I'm just kidding. Another cool thing about the trumpet is all the accessories. You can do so much to change the sound of a trumpet. Just give me a, an example. If you've been playing the trumpet for a while, you've probably played with a straight mute. You always want to fog up the bell before you put a mute in there. Just It holds it in there and makes it stick a little bit better. I don't know if you can hear the difference. Mm-hmm. 
just to hear the difference, check this out. Straight mute, no straight mute. With a straight mute. So a straight mute, very, very commonly used on the trumpet. Now there's different kinds of cut mutes, just like there's different kinds of straight mutes. You can, you can sort of change, again, mutes are made just to change the quality, the sound of the trumpet anyway. So you'll see straight mutes made out of metal, made out of this stuff, which is, uh, I don't know if this is plastic, but these are stone line, this is a cup mute. So it's like a straight mute, but there's a cup on top. I have a metal one. I sort of like the sound of this one better. So a cup mute. Now honestly, if I'm using a cup mute like this, I'm probably using it uh, in kind of a smaller, quieter jazz setting. different quality to it. It's more uh, more buzzy sounding, more metallic sounding. Duh, it's made of metal. Where am I going now? This is uh, also one of the stone line mutes. This is a bucket mute. Now my bucket mute broke. I got a broke bucket mute. And that's fine. Right here, I took some duct tape around here just to hold it together. So if it falls apart, Especially on this humongous bell that I have. It might not stay together, but it just sort of dampens the sound, right? Gosh, that looks ugly on camera. But it sounds nice. Uh, what key do I want to play in? Yeah, it's pretty large. It doesn't... This mute goes around the outside though. Around the outside, around the outside. That's a song. It's a terrible song. So those other mutes all go inside the trumpet, changing the sound. This just sort of dampens the sound. So it's, it, it's bigger. It adds a little bit more weight to the front of the trumpet. But yeah, there's, that's probably the biggest mute that I have now that you mention it. But with your, uh, it just sort of dampens the sound. You can kind of hear the difference. And with the mute. Right? Moving on to a very popular mute. And actually, this mute has... Oh, I'm not going to have it. This one has a stem attachment to it, but I can't find it right now. Oh, I'm going to be... That's too bad. So this is a is a Harmon mute. And actually this Harmon mute I got from my roommate back in college a lot of years ago. So this one again goes inside. You'll notice it has a different cork at the end. So it goes in there. This one is notorious for falling out. So again, crank that in there. And this one has a very distinct sound. So that's a 
Harmon mute. You'll hear that on, oh, Miles Davis is famous for using Harmon mutes, as well as other things. But there's another, oh, let me just look again. Because there's a stem that you can put inside the Harmon mute. Gives it a real cool sound, but I don't have it with me right now. Another time, another video. Let me see. Now this is another mute. I know what you're thinking. If if you've never seen a plunger mute with a trumpet, well, you're probably in for a treat. This is just a regular plunger, but I got a hole cut out the middle. Now the hole is important because you have to have some sort of airflow. But I like to get a, a plunger mute that covers the bell nice. See how it's kind of the same size? And I think this is a, I think it's a four inch, let me see. You want to get about a four inch plunger. So if you go on, if you go on Amazon, oh, this is actually a, this is a five inch, almost a five inch plunger. A four inch plunger will work too, but it's really cool. I just saw on the LC. I'm going to leave. I just saw on the Allstate Etudes. Which Allstate Etudes? That was a really messed up sentence. Are you, are you talking about the, uh, well, I guess I don't know what state you're in. Are you talking about the Texas, the Texas Allstate Etudes? There's a, there's another guy who just posted the Texas A Etudes, I, if you're from Texas. You ought to check out Kyle Sherman. He does videos for uh, Houghton or Hupton Horns. I don't know what the heck it's called. But check out his recordings. He does a really, really good job. It's super high quality recordings. He's using a, like it's, it's just, it's beautiful. So with your plunger, you can get two sounds. You can get the Harmon mute sound. You can make a lot of different sounds happen. I already showed you tight plunger. Right, tight plunger, or even uh no, I'm not gonna do that. But you get a wah sound or an owl sound. There's my phone again. Oh, I'm gonna have to answer this at some point. Start next week. Let me see. Bear with me. Okay. My plunger. So with your owls and your wahs, you can make sounds like, oh, there's one other effect you can do. On a trumpet, and you see this in jazz, especially older Dixieland jazz, but if you hum or growl into a trumpet, you can get a different effect. Okay, and that's just uh, you can also do a tongue roll. some of that together
get this, you kind of get an idea of the uh, the different sounds you can create with a plunger mute. that a trumpet can create. Because you can tongue roll. You can growl like we talked about. The other cool thing you can do with a trumpet, well, two things that I think about. One is half valve. Right? It just sort of gl glosses the sound a little bit. Right? Uh, that's a half valve sound. It's also note bending. So you're going Actually you can put that together with a plunger because a plunger sort of uh, dips the note down. You can also just dip it on your own. You can also start on a note on the bottom of that bent dip. Right? Um, so that's kind of the, you know, the different colors and sounds and effects that a trumpet can create. You can do, well, there's other funny sound effects you can make if you think about, what is that song? Right around Christmas time, you get this, uh, it's a horse whinny. You know, people do that a lot. All you do is a, it's a half valve, you go up and you shake the trumpet and you go down. It's a horse whinny. Or what's another funny sound? You can make funny sounds on the, uh, the mouthpiece too. So the trumpet. So where was I? I was talking about uh, Jazz, classical, mariachi. I don't know any mariachi songs. Uh, mariachi. I don't know any mariachi. But I know that there's a lot of trumpet in mariachi. Salsa band music. Um, I mostly play jazz and classical. What else? What's another genre? You know, the cool thing about, again, trumpet, it's just, it's such a great vehicle for creating music, you know, creating sounds and m making these pitches happen. Because it's so versatile. Like I said, you can play fast. Having these valves, I mean, you can play super fast. Around the horn 
drum really, really quickly. What else can a trumpet do? Trumpet, trumpet, trumpet. I mean, I think I covered... You know, what do you guys think? What do you like about the trumpet? I like that you can be... Again, just, just as far as having an instrument, some sort of vehicle for playing music, the trumpet just does such a great job. It's not limited like... Now, I'm not good at the trombone, and there are some fantastic trombone players out there, but having to move a slide to hit a note when you can just push down a valve... I mean, that's just, that's incredible. I think that's amazing. Um, and so for jazz, for improvisation, I mean, for an instrument that you can get super comfortable with to express ideas, I think jazz is excellent. Oh, uh, let's see. Let's play a jazz tune. Well, no, I can't play a tune, but I can improvise over it. I can't play a tune because... Well, they'll take the video down. But I can play the backtrack and I can improvise to it. So let me do that. I'm gonna try to crank this up.
All right, let's quit that. Um. Oh shoot! Somebody was watching that. I'm just kidding. So anyway, classical, jazz, military, mariachi, salsa. Where else do you see a trumpet? You know, there's a lot of different kind of fusiony, you know, rock fusion, jazz fusion types of music where you see a trumpet quite a bit. Um, there's different offshoots. The cool thing about playing a trumpet is if you, if you can play a trumpet, you have a basic understanding of valve instruments. You, know, you can play a valve trombone or a baritone, euphonium, that kind of thing. And there's so many close relatives of the trumpet. You know, there's the cornet, there's a the flugelhorn. Actually, I have a flugelhorn. I think it's in the other room. Flugelhorn, it's a really great instrument. It's a nice, rich, velvety sound. Um, there's so many cool things that you can play around with on the trumpet. There's different mouthpieces, different trumpet sizes, different trumpet makes and models. It's just, it's great. It's super, it's super fun to play around with. Uh, the different colors that you can create on a trumpet. Um, and then the only other thing I would add, no, there's nothing else I would add. That's it. I think I, I think I talked about all of it. So if you guys have any questions at all, feel free to leave it in the chat box. I'm going to play. I might not play anything, but I'm going to play. Well, I played that already. a lot of sharps. So this has got like six flats in it. Let's try it. Why do I think the trumpet is the best instrument? I hope that clarifies why trumpet is the best instrument. And just a trumpet sound, it sticks out. It stands out above everything else. And you can play notes on a trumpet that, you know, especially in the upper register. <laughs> will stand out, you know, especially if you're playing with, you know, even in a marching band, you can play higher and louder than almost every other instrument. You know, a piccolo flute or a flute can play higher, and even some, even some woodwinds can screech higher, but the volume you can get on a trumpet and the way this thing is shaped, the way you can put your sound out there, it's unmatched, I think. But I'm a trumpet player, so of course I would think that. Alright, thank you guys for checking it out. I'll catch you later.